Hi, it's Brandon again, and we're back with another lap guide, and this time at the Nürburgring GT circuit. So, we got the Ferrari today, and first run out a bit wide, get all the speed you can down the main straight. Okay, so the first braking point you want to be looking for is the 100 meter board on the left. Uh, you want to brake just before that, and stay wide. Start turning slowly, and trail brake, get right next to the apex, and ease the throttle on exit. You can use a bit of the track on the left. Come back about halfway on the right. Now you don't need to use the brakes here, just coast it into the corner, wait for it to grip up, and as you get closer to the apex on exit, you can ease the throttle on. Don't punch the throttle too hard or the rear end might kick out. Uh, run out wide to the right, you can use a bit of this AstroTurf on the exit. Don't go right over the curbing because you'll invalidate your lap. Okay, make sure to stay out wide and just before the AstroTurf ends around about here. Turn a little bit, start braking and bring it in and drop your inner left tire just on the inside of this curbing here to help pull you around. Okay, you want to keep to the left, tap off briefly and then put the right hand side of the car over this curbing on the right. Uh, as you get over the curbing, start easing the accelerator back on and run wide. Don't go too far over this white line or you can invalid lap as you'll probably find. Now coming to the next corner, there should be a line of cones when you start off on the right here, but if you run wide enough, you'll probably take them out as you can see I have done already. Just after this off-road on the right, you want to start aiming towards the corner and braking. Drop into third gear and coast into the corner. And as you grip up, start easing the accelerator back on. Bring it back to the middle of the track. Brake just before the curving on the right. Gently ease off the brake and you want to have quite a light apex on this corner. So there's a little kink on the track just about here. And right after that, you want to start accelerating and bring it out on the outside curbing over here. Now we head down to the hairpin. Now you want to look for this curbing on the left and just before the light patch ends around about here you want to start braking. Go straight for the apex, slightly drift out wide and then as you grip up again you can start easing the throttle back on, bring it out onto the curbing again. Now go up to the Schumacher S. To get a nice line through here you can bring it right up onto the curbing on the right, drop it in, very briefly lift off the throttle and then get back on it. You can use a bit of the curbing on the left to help you. Back on the right. And on the left again. And now we head to the next corner. Now just before this astral turf on the right, you want to start braking. You can place your car slightly over the white line. Bring it in and trail brake. You can use this curbing on the left. Take it out wide again, back to the left as far as you can. Gently on the brakes, start bringing it in, and as you start gripping up, hopefully you haven't gone too narrow, you have a late apex and start accelerating again. Out onto the curbing, and now we foot flat for a wee while. Now coming into the chicane, there's three distance markers. Um, I break between the 50 and the 100 and closer to the 50 meter board. Don't break too hard, start turning quite early. Around about here you want to let off the brake. Coast briefly and just after the left turn you want to put your foot flat and just trust the car through here. Don't hit the bump on the right, use the astroturf on the right. Run out wide on the left, you might have to quickly tap off if you get a bit unstable. And right about where the rubber marks start over here, you want to start braking again. Don't go too tight, go a bit wide and have another late apex. Gradually ease the throttle on, you don't want to kick the rear end out here. And now we ease it on foot flat to the line. The Ferrari handles this track pretty well I found, and I knew it would because it's really good with corners. And the Lamborghini is also pretty quick here, but I, but I find it's a bit harder to drive. I haven't tried all the cars here, I found the BMW was also pretty quick, but I managed to go fast with Ferrari quite quickly. Once again, I'm just using the aggressive setup here. So no special setup. The lap time I did here was a 143.4, which is a pretty decent lap time. I was happy with that. If you push a bit too hard in this car, the rear will probably kick out. And when it does that going through corners, you, if you put your foot down, it's not gonna go anywhere because the traction control is stopping you from doing so. Make sure to keep the car gripping at all times. If you're sliding too much, you're gonna slow your lap time down. It takes a precise driving style to get a really fast lap with this car. As you can see, it can be done. It just takes practice. If there's anything I missed, uh, make sure to ask in the comments. I can try to help you out, or maybe somebody else in the comments will be able to help you as well. 
If you enjoy the ACC content, make sure to subscribe and suggest what else you would like to see. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.